Hello everyone. Welcome to our another video in the series on data structures and algorithms. So the topic of today's video is how to traverse an array. In my previous videos, I have talked about how to create an array, how to insert values into the array, considering different cases, and also how to delete a value from an array. In deletion, also I considered various cases. In case you haven't watched those videos, I strictly advise you please go and have a look at those videos so let's begin with the present video there's a brief introduction about myself i'm dr prashant gupta there's a link to my website you can have a look on my website about my international visits the research papers that i have published and about the other professional activities that i have been involved in my passion is research and teaching so what is a traversal traversal very broadly means visiting every value inside any data structure only once and printing out that value. So in context of array, what will the traversal mean? Traversal means visiting every index exactly once. This is the algorithm. Traverse a comma n, we are given the array and the number of elements that are stored in the array. We initialize the value of the counter as i equals to zero. We repeat while i is less than or equal to n minus one, we have to print these values and keep on incrementing i till the time we reach the end of the array and then the program exits therefore array a is the array under processing n is the number of elements currently stored in the array and as from our previous videos you have always ensured that the value of n is less than the size of the macro that is max i is some random variable so again let the array elements be 11 2 77 8 and 9 therefore the value of n is 5 the index goes from 0 to n minus 1 that is 4 therefore the first statement executes we initially allocate the value of i at 0 therefore i now starts pointing to the first index now inside this loop this check is performed the value of i that is 0 is less than n minus 1 that is 4 this check is true therefore we print the value of a of i that is the value of first index 11 is printed and the value of i is incremented now the i starts pointing to the next index that is first Again, this check is performed. The value of i is less than n minus 1, that is 4. There will print the value at second index, that is 1, or the index 1, you can say. So we print 2 and the value of i is incremented to 2. Now i starts pointing to the next index. Now again, this check is performed. The value of i is 2, that is less than the n minus 1, that is 4. Therefore, the value at this index is printed, that is 77 and the i is incremented to point to the next location that is 3. Now i starts pointing to the next location that is 3. Again this check is performed. The value of i that is 3 is less than n minus 1 that is 4. Therefore the value 8 is printed and the value of i is incremented and points to location 4. So now i is at index 4. This value is equal to n minus 1 that is 4 and this check is true. Therefore the value of a of i is printed that is 9 and the value of i is incremented that becomes 5. So now you can see actually the i goes out of bounds and the value of i is checked over here that is 5. Now it is greater than n minus 1 that is 4. Therefore this check is negated. Therefore all other statements are skipped from the loop and the program exits. Therefore the program of traversal is quite simple. We simply have this header files. Now we define the size of the a max and the size of the array. Now we assume that the array already exists in the memory in case it's not therefore you are required to make use of the insertion algorithm for getting the values of array input into the memory you can go few videos back and have a look at that video and practice on your own now initially we set the value of i is 0 and this we check while the value of i is less than n minus 1 so these two statements are clubbed together in this for loop that are these statements statement 1 statement 2 and this statement inside statement 2 are clubbed into the for loop at once we have for i equals to 0 i less than n and i plus plus and we are printing the value of a of i now, this is a new thing you are i assume that you are aware of this the syntax of the c programming in case you are not then i strongly advise you to have a look at our video series on c programming also this we are passing a statement just to make sure that the output shown on the screen is about the array element that are getting printed 
so thank you all for watching this video and don't forget to subscribe to our channel there are more and more goodies coming up coming up soon thank you